Hi everybody, I'm the founder of Luxury Groomer and I'm here today to show you some brushing tips. I hope everyone is happy, healthy, and safe. I just wanted to put together a quick video to give you some tips and tricks on how to be brushing your dog at home. I hope your dog doesn't look quite like this. I am in between dogs right now. So I ordered, uh, this is a model dog offline that groomers can use. They have these little wigs. Uh, once it's brushed out, it actually mimics dog hair pretty well and you can try out different haircuts and things. So I ordered one of these online uh, and it's perfect that it comes in this condition because I can show you how to brush your dog. So one of the first things I'm gonna say, first, first tip, put them up somewhere like we do when, you come in, when we come into your home to groom your dog. Put them up somewhere on a counter or a, a laundry area or something that's raised and that they're a little bit contained and that you can kind of get across to them that when we're up here, we're getting down to business uh, because otherwise they'll squirm and think it's playtime and whatever, it makes a big difference. If you can make a routine that when they're up in this space, they're going to get brushed or groomed in any type of way, um, it really helps. So the other thing is about the tools. Again, I really recommend this slicker brush, uh, a slicker brush that looks like this, doesn't have to be this brand. Usually they're gonna be about the same if they look like this, and a metal comb, do not forget the comb or they are not brushed out, I promise you. The other tip, I'm gonna say first and foremost, you wanna separate the hair you wanna brush from the skin out and you don't have to brush hard. Uh, just a quick explanation about the design of this brush is all these little tines that can look a little torturous are actually designed to be extra gentle. Uh, so the design of the tines themselves is to gently work out knots. So you wanna let the brush do the work and not your strength, okay? And you're gonna go from the skin out, they get matted at the skin first. So that's why you see a groomer saying, you know, it looks nice on the top, but we have to shave it off because where the matting is, which is down by the skin, we have to get it off by going under it. And that's where they typically would have to go short. So even if they look really pretty brushed out on the top, if they are not brushed out at the skin, they are not brushed out at all. So let's show you how to do that. You wanna separate the hair and just gently go down. This is called line brushing, where you're gonna take just a little bit at a time. You're gonna separate till you can see skin. This dog's skin is white. Separate and get all the way down. And you see, I'm not even putting weight on this brush. Start super gentle. You might be able to put a little more pressure, but start slow, start, gen start gentle, give them some treats, make this fun time. Everyone should have a little extra time on their hands right now. So start like this and you'll already see the texture of the hair changing. It's fluffier, it doesn't look as curly, as kinky, as separated. It looks like one more, uh, one cohesive uh, fluff. And you'll wanna see that and you'll see, I'm even letting it bounce, you can very little. Now I'm able to do it quite quickly so sometimes it may look like I'm putting uh, work into it but really it's, it's pretty feather light. Um, and it depends on your dog how much, you know, aggression you can put into it but you don't have to the brush does the work and you'll see you'll notice that i'm going over the same spot over and over that's giving the brush and the design of the brush a chance to work through these tangles so they call it line brushing because you can kind of see a little line when you separate it and you're just going to go on that line and then you'll let the brush pull down just a little more and now you've got a line just slightly above that so work on one spot for a moment right and then pick up that comb, the all important comb, and put that comb down to the skin and pull out. If you cannot pull out as pretty and nice as this looks, you're not brushed out at all, doesn't matter. Uh, so go and let the brush continue to do the work that it's doing. It will eventually get all the way down there with some gentle, gentle pressure. It will get down there and then you can brush it out. But see, if you can't touch the skin and pull out, it is not brushed out, doesn't matter how good it looks on top. I can't stress that enough. I wanted to quickly go over different types of brushes. We're only gonna talk about one or two today. I pulled these out of my personal collection, which is why they look a little used, but some of you may have some of these at home and I just wanna clarify. So the ones back here, 
These are all meant for shedding dogs with double coat. We're not gonna be talking about that today, but those would not be helpful on say your Shih Tzus, Bichons, things that get tangles and need to be brushed out. That's what we're gonna look at down here. Now I'm gonna bet that most of you have picked up something like this at some point. It's called a pin brush. Uh, believe it or not, we're gonna be shying away from the pin brush today. It does have its uses, but I would say for the vast majority of you, it's not gonna be what you need right now. If you do have questions about it, just leave comments below and I'll definitely answer. Here's what we're gonna go for today. This is a slicker brush. You see it's similar designs to all of these. These right here are a little more for dematting and professional use. This one is also more for professional use. It has longer tines and can go a little deeper, but can also be a little rougher. So you wanna find kind of an average everyday use slicker brush. Again, I'll leave links um, below, but there's a number of different brands and things you can get them from, but look for this design and then the most important thing ever is a comb. A dog is never brushed out unless you can get a comb through them. I think they call this one medium to fine. So if you can find something like that, again, I'll leave links below. You wanna definitely give them praise and treats, but I would wait until the end usually you can kind of read your dog but if you're a little too gentle and a little too crazy in the beginning they're just going to get really excited and think that they've done a good job and that they're all done so you want to kind of work on them and then give them all the praise and love i like to actually clap and say good job and get really excited they're not always quite sure what they did but they get really proud of themselves and they're going to be more apt to want to do it again or at least put up with doing it again I just wanted to let everybody know that we are here for you. I hope everybody is happy and healthy as long as possible. Ask us, reach out, ask us any questions at any time. Uh, we are all at home with not much to do right now. Um, and we'd be happy to answer any of your questions. We are also offering one-on-one -on -one video sessions that we can literally hold your hand through grooming processes at home, whether it be a full groom, just brushing, bathing, whatever you need. Um, we're here to help and we'll see you soon, hopefully.